Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. Today, I want to fix this bridge up and get it ready to set in. So, step one is paint it, and step two is put down the decking. I'm using this Valspar Anti-Rust Armor Maximum Rust Prevention Paint. We're going to paint the bridge black, and I think this will be a good spot for when we have the Christmas tree farm set up. Um, for families, they can take pictures over here by the pond and um, the kids are going to love to play on it so I'm really excited to get this bridge set up and to see if I can find a good option to put a windmill out on the island but anyway let's get started and get some work done throughout the video you might hear some we'll call them engine noises as my grandson's driving his um, half series one horsepower little tykes tractor and he's trying to move some of the dirt pile from where we dug this out are you moving dirt today? Yeah. I'm the dirt and you're the bridger. Yeah, I'm working on the bridge and you're moving the dirt. That's a good plan. It, it was trying to work. It was trying to work? All right, better get to painting. Yesterday I got black paint on my capitalism shirt, so I think I'll go switch shirts before I ruin this one too. Huh? Why you have to put? I I told it yesterday. I told it black. Yeah, you, you like it better if it was black. Mm-hmm. Whoa, much paint, and you have to leave it dry, right? Yep. After we paint it, we can't touch it, or it'll get on us. So you have to leave it for a day so it can dry. Just leave it for half a day. Yeah, half a day is probably long enough. Can I be done dried? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. All right, so the whole thing's painted. It says on the can six to eight hours to dry, but it's 90 degrees out here today, and we're in direct sunlight, so I'd say that's, you know, on the maximum end of the dry time. How much, how much rainwater's in there, buddy? How many inches is that? Nope, don't pull it out. Let's see the number right there is a three. So there's three inches of rain in there. So it's been almost two weeks since we dug the pond and we haven't had any rain in that time. Over the course of a couple weeks with no rain, the water level only dropped a couple inches. So I was really happy with that. And then last night we got a storm that dropped that three inches in a couple hours. And you can see I've got these puddles all over the yard. So I kind of made a note of where the water is pooling up or where it's the most muddy. And that tells me where I want to run my swales and my drain lines to try to funnel water down into the pond. At this point in the video, I'm headed down for the first time to see how that rainfall affected the water level in the pond. And I was pleasantly surprised. I'm going to throw up a couple clips right here. The first shot will be what the water level was before the rain and the second shot will be what it looked like after the rain. I think the water level rose by more than the amount of rain we got so at this rate it is gonna fill up at least to the point that the rear bank leaks and I do also have plans to fix that bank. Right here you can see a frog at the bottom where the water level is, but also you can see some gullies that have washed out where rainwater was coming into the pond. And obviously that's a result of having a bank with no grass on it or no rocks or structure to maintain that. So I may have to do some work to clean that bank up. I thought that frog sitting there was kind of neat. It's uh, 
good sized frog with nice coloration on it and I wanted to catch it as it jumped into the water but I set a camera up for 45 minutes and it never moved. Well last night my plan was to come out this morning and finish this bridge. My whole plans got blown out of the water. My to-do list got a lot of things added to it, but I'm out here now to try to get it done. It's about 6.30, so I've got a little less than an hour to see how much I can get done. Hopefully I should at least be able to cut all the planks, get them set in, and start getting them bolted down before we run out of daylight. So let's get started. I just measured the width of the bridge all the way down, and it's pretty consistent between 37 and a half to 37 and three quarters. I thought about cutting the planks to 36 so I could get four out of each of these two by 12s, but I really don't want to leave that gap on each side and have less room to drill and run the screws in. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them to full length and have some waste. But having that a waste allows me to get rid of some of the bad spots like the last three foot of this board is is split so it is what it is I thought about bringing a miter saw down here but the miter saws I have none of them are cordless so it's probably not worth it and I don't think it's worth it to drag all the wood up there either so I'll just go through and mark this and cut it with a cordless circular saw actually rather than marking it all the way down I'm going to cut one piece to use that as a pattern and mark the rest with the board so that I'm not getting off by the amount of the saw kerf every time. Well, the idea of using the first cut as a pattern probably isn't a good idea either because cutting it by hand with circular saw, I got just slightly off my mark because on one side I can see my mark and the other I can't. So I don't want that to compound as I go. I'll mark each one. So one thing I didn't anticipate is that this ledge here is about three and a half inches tall. Obviously these two buys are only an inch and a half. So I think what I'm going to do is run two by fours all the way along these rails and then bolt the two by fours down, then put my slats on top and that will get us up to the height. I'm probably not going to bolt this down. I'm just going to get all the pieces cut tonight. And if you have another suggestion for how I should do this, let me know what you think. so I still have this lip right here it's about an inch I haven't decided if I want to leave that lip it's really not gonna hurt anything or I might raise it up if I want to raise it I don't have the lumber to put under here and so I don't want to start bolting these down yet but the next time you see an update on this bridge we'll be dragging it out across to the island and have the pond dug out so you'll see some more excavator content pretty soon some more pond dredging and we'll get this sucker in but I appreciate you taking time to watch this video 
I'm going to put links right here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.